Hospitals in a growing number of states are seeing a surge in the number of pediatric patients, kids, dealing with respiratory illnesses that aren't COVID-19. And according to one report, hospital leaders say now in 23 states, they're seeing it. And it's so bad actually in Connecticut that one children's hospital is considering putting up a field tent to deal with the influx of young patients. Well, here at home, school nurses are telling us they're also seeing an increase in absenteeism. And this morning, our Megan Solinsky is joining us live from Jefferson Elementary School with more on how schools in the area are preventing illnesses starting in the classroom. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. At these elementary schools and schools around the area and other districts, they are talking about the surge in cases. School nurses are on high alert for cases and of flu, COVID, and all the other diseases. And it's not the only Jefferson Elementary. Places in other districts like Mill Creek School District are on high alert and working to keep the kids healthy in the classroom. Certified school nurse Brooke Crocker of McDowell Intermediate says that COVID and other illnesses are circulating through their classrooms. Although it may be normal at this time of year to have kids out sick, Crocker says there have been numerous absences already early on in the year. Nurse Crocker tells us she's seen what she calls a heightened awareness around sickness, which has encouraged students to be self-advocates for themselves in reporting symptoms. She says the number one way of limiting transmission is to stay home, and she encourages all her students to do so if they are experiencing any of the flu or COVID symptoms. She also encourages parents to have their kids tested for both COVID and flu if they're having any type of symptoms because it's hard to know exactly which illness your child may be experiencing without doing so. Well, uh, the difference between flu and COVID is sometimes really hard to determine because they present with the same type of symptoms. So um, the best thing to do is to stay home and maybe consult your PCP to get a, a test uh, for flu and COVID, you know, and maybe just you know, rule out the two and see or see what is what. To prevent from these illnesses, Nurse Crocker says that it's important to get both your flu vaccine and your updated boosters as the symptoms for these illnesses are similar. Live from Jefferson Elementary, Megan Slonsky, Erie News Now.